Hi, my name's Anne and I'm one of the Law Librarians at the ANU. My colleagues and I have put together this video to help students of Laws 1205, Australian Public Law. This session will help you to identify the most efficient ways to search for legal resources for your essay. In general, when conducting legal research on Australian topics, it's important to remember that international sources such as Google will not have particularly strong results in Australian law. For that reason, we are showing you the specialised databases which are available via ANU. Think of it like shopping. There are many things you can buy at a supermarket, but you're unlikely to shop there for a musical instrument or a Wi-Fi router or new bathroom tiles. For some things, you still need to visit a specialist. Where to start? We've identified some broad principles that you should use in general when you're doing legal research. We've attached the infographic for you to download or print and keep as a reminder. For this assignment specifically, here is our best advice. Begin with a book. You have a textbook and there are many more similar titles in the library. It might be electronic or in print, either is fine. Choose a general title on Australian public law and check it, or more than one, for the general area of your question. This provides you context and may well identify some of the issues you'll pursue in your research. Often, a book will also identify useful primary material, for example, a case or an act, or it may mention an event or a widely quoted expert on the topic. Any one of those references is an avenue you can then explore in your own research. We're aware that you may experience difficulty finding a print book due to the COVID-19 shutdowns. Remember that you can search the ANU Library catalogue for eBooks, but also we have legal encyclopedias and dictionaries you can access for similar purposes. Both Westlaw and Lexis Advance have online encyclopedias you can access to find legal definitions on words and phrases. Often the footnotes to these entries identify cases and legislation, which are extremely useful. Some of your questions specify the types of resources you should use. If you are looking for legal resources from around the world, you can look on the Foreign and International Law Guide and check by country to see what is available. Your question may mention commentary. Like textbooks, these resources may contain some brief statement about the topic we are interested in, and if they do, they are likely to refer to specific articles or reviews. If you are looking for recent developments, look in the breaking news or recent development sections. This will give you information about recent legislative or policy proposals. Once you have a basic understanding of the area you're researching, you can begin to scope the question and your possible search terms. Even in this digital day and age, it can be useful to put pen to paper and brainstorm the topic. Keep this with you to make sure you don't go off track while searching. It is very easy to keep clicking and end up on a tangent. Try to identify what type of material you are looking for. Your question may have specified this. Is there an identified article, report, press release, terms of inquiry as the basis for your question? Have you been given a quote or statement from an article, book or news story? If so, track down the original item as your first starting point. Will you need to reference cases or legislation for your topic? Do you need to be interested in government, practitioner or academic views? Is it about government or public policy? In addition, keep in mind what jurisdiction you are interested in. This is a requirement unique to law, and it's one of the reasons Google is not always useful. There is a great deal of American legal content on Google, which may not be relevant to your topic. Now, think about what keywords or phrases might be relevant. Don't just use the words in your question. Make a list of possible synonyms. Antonyms can also be useful. Think of a question that asks about equality. Inequality can be a very common term used in the literature on that topic. Try to identify phrases if you can. 
These should be naturally occurring if they are to be of use. Think of climate change or Great Barrier Reef. You can use double quotation marks around these words to tighten up your search result and drop out random results, which do have your keywords but aren't relevant. For example, if there is a band called Climate Punks and they have had to change their tour dates, their website will appear in a search which just uses climate and change as terms, but they will disappear if you use climate change as a phrase. Now that you have a list of search terms, where do you use them? Legal databases. This is where you will find the best quality research available, not Google or any of the free legal resources. They can be useful, but the vast majority of academic resources, such as journal articles, are held behind paywalls in a small number of legal databases. Australian legal topics. Start with Aegis. You can find it on the Law Subject Guide or you can see it on the A to Z listing on the library homepage. Run searches using a variety of keywords in different combinations. Use more than just the terms in your essay question. Then run these searches again in a different database. It's important you use a variety of sources. You'll find other suggested databases on the Law Subject Guide. Once you've begun your search, pay attention to the results you're getting. Are there references to parliamentary inquiries or committees, law reform commission reports? Do authors keep referring to the same person as an expert in the area? These are all ways you can identify new, useful material for your research. Remember that you can search by more than just keyword. Look for that expert by author or try searching by subject. If you are struggling to think of subject terms, look in the databases like Aegis. They will often let you click on a subject heading as though it were a hashtag. If your question refers to the ALRC, or other similar organisation, OSLI has a Law Reform Commission database that you can search. Parliamentary information can be found at aph.gov.au. If you are looking for a committee or submissions, you can browse there if you know the name of the committee and which parliament it was convened in. Otherwise, you can try searching for the Parlinfo database, parlinfo.gov.au. You may also wish to use Google Advanced to search for other types of literature if it's likely to be useful in your topic. For example, research institute papers, think tanks, and NGOs like the United Nations. Papers published by these types of organisations are not likely to show up in the academic journal database, but they can be useful. There are tips on how to use Google Advanced on the Law Library's research repository site. If you need any assistance in conducting these searches or identifying better search terms, please contact the Law Library as soon as possible. We are responding to emails whilst the campus is closed and we will get back to you ASAP. If you would prefer to speak to someone, you can email to request a phone call or individual Zoom session.